Wow. Y'all better than me because I don't like cooking no big old chicken legs. Y'all play truth or dare? Don't play it. What is that? It's honey. Oh. It's honey. I just don't see why nobody wouldn't want to hang out with me <laughs> if if I'm not too much because I I do understand I could be a lot. What's your name? Mia. I did it again. I did it again. Oh my God. What the hell is wrong with you? Y'all, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. The damn dryer beads do go in the washer. They do. What is going on? I literally just put the dryer beads in the dryer to dry the clothes. And I was like, but wait a minute. And then I checked on there and it says, why did it go into the washer? How has something that I've been doing for over a year, I don't want it to mess up my clothes. I feel like if I leave, I already done put the clothes in there. Y'all, why is this vlog starting off like this? What the hell? And you keep wasting scent beads. Like, they not expensive. Oh, my God. I don't even want to vlog no more. Vlog is canceled. Duh. Y'all, I am in utter shock and disbelief at what happened. With that dryer, like that whole washing, like look, so I was planning on making my little cute montage, you know, setting up the vlog, and then that BS happened to me so much to the point where I'm like, you know what, I don't have to put up with this. I can go get my nails done and forget about it and take, um, partake in that complimentary decorator they're going to give me because I'm really just going to get my nails done because I want that little piece of liquor that I could have just bought some liquor and saved some money instead of going to get these nails done and it's not even the liquor that they're giving you baby come on anyway i need to get my nails done so while we're talking about it i did not even what's up with y'all what's up what's up what's up what's up all right y'all like damn she just got her hair done she got her head on because i didn't do my hair after the gym now i'll tell y'all why in a minute before i skip to that because y'all know i run through three four five six different concepts um let's talk about getting nails look at my nails I don't want to get my nails done. I never want to get my nails done. I actually wish, let this man cross. I actually wish that I was going to get my feet done because I love getting my feet done. Ooh, baby, when they get the rubbing, oh my God, I love being rubbed on. I'm going to get a massage and a facial tomorrow. Whoop, whoop, it's a self-care Saturday tomorrow. Hey, anyway. I don't want to get my nails done. And I know this because of social media. One thing about social media is we can find out if we all are collectively in agreement about something. So I have been seeing like a whole bunch of reels or like memes talking about we really don't like to get our nails done. Like we don't like the process of getting our nails done. We want our nails done. We want the look of our nails to be done. But the actual like process of getting our nails done sucks. And it does. It absolutely does. I, I ain't gonna say I hate it like it's the worst, worst thing ever. But I don't want to go. I just want them done. Like, can you just... And then I don't want to pay for nails. Not really. 
Like, if I was getting a pedicure, I would... Be, I think it's because I don't like the procedure of it. Procedure. Damn, we getting work done. Because pedicure, sometimes, you know, they got all the different little upgrades. Baby, depending on how I feel, I may upgrade it on up because I want you to rub me for as long as possible. I got to tell you something else. When I got my hair done, the most enjoyable thing was the wash to the point where I think I just want to go get my hair washed because I love my head being played in and touched in. And when he was scratching, I was like, if I could just pay for this as a service, like I don't really, it's not that I need my hair to be washed necessarily. I'm not really here for the cleanliness of the hair, but can you just spend like 30 minutes scratching and scrubbing? And I know they have these things now called hair spas. Yes, I know. We do have one in the outer perimeter of the city, but they are booked out literally to next year. When I first found them, they was booked out to like March. And this was almost a year ago. And I was like, I'm not waiting that long. Listen, the time is going to pass. I'm jumping around too much because I didn't even finish my first point about the nails. And now I done went to the head spot. And now I'm about to go to something else. Because the time going to pass. And that's the biggest thing about like working out and like getting the physique that you want. Oh, it's going to take this long. Oh, it's going to take that long. It's going to take that long. The time is going to pass. Even if I told you it's going to take you four years to have the body that you want, you're going to be like, forget that. That's too long. But four years going to come with or without you. If it come without you, then you ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> anyway, I'm jumping around. But I literally be coming to like, when I be talking as I'm talking, other stuff will pop up. So back to the nails. I will spend money on a pedicure and get upgrades, all that, because I love the the act of the pedicure, the service, it's, I'm getting a massage, I'm in a chair, you rub my feet, it's warm water, it's a good time. Nails, it don't, nothing feel good about it, girl, sometimes they be hurting you, not, I'm not saying my nail, it hurt me, because I, I don't get hurt, but I, I've been hurt before, so, I'm just saying, it's just not, even if they don't hurt you at all, it do, it's not a pampering thing, I don't know where the narrative came that it was pampering, it's not, I like the way my hands look when my nails are done, but getting them done, Anyway, so I'm going to get my nails done, and then we can come to this um, the point about why I got this hat on and I just got my hair done. Well, we know I sweated my hair out the first day I showed y'all, but I did set my hair, and it was fine. I wanted to make sure it, it, it wasn't like, oh boy, I did it, of course, but you, you know, she was good. I'm having a date night at my house tonight, so I was like, you might as well... Like, I haven't taken a shower or nothing from the gym. I don't even know what I did today. The time just passed. I lollygagged a lot. Oh, I have to tell y'all about something else. Damn, why did so many thoughts go through my head at one time? Why do I jump around like this? I hate it. Y'all say y'all like when I be rambling, but I don't I do not do it on purpose. I really can't help it, the thought processes. So, back to the date night at the house, right? Yes, okay. I was like, it's no point in doing my hair because I haven't took in a shower and I still need to clean up a little bit because I need to change the sheets on my bed. I need to clean my bathroom and I need to mop the floor. I washed a load of clothes and I was like, all right, I forgot. I didn't forget. I was trying to debate, do I want to do the nail thing? Because I don't, but I want my, look at my nails. Right. So anyway, when I decided to stop wasting enough time and I realized, oh my God, it's five o'clock. What are you doing? I was like, damn, let me go get my nails done. Um, and then I'll come back and finish doing my task. And then I will set my hair because I ain't got that much hair. And I have a flat, fresh relaxer. <laughs> so it don't take two damn hours to dry. And while I'll set my hair, then I'll get in the shower. So that's why I, I, I my hair looks, is she not a mess? She is a mess actually right now. Not even that bad. See, not even that bad. And that's because I have a relaxer. So like she lay down. But anyway. Um, I have to get ready for my date night. I told y'all that he had advanced, and I don't know how I felt about it, but that's neat. And you know what? Out of all the stuff that happened in the vlog, y'all ain't say it's about nothing. Y'all want to talk about Beyonce in the album. I don't give a darn. Why y'all don't talk about things that matter? I'm kidding. But yeah, um, he's going to bring food, and it's just kind of going to be a chill little thing. Um, I'm probably going to play the uh, like the drink or dare game. Cause I didn't get the actual cards, but I downloaded a version of it on my phone. Because I be wanting to get a little bit lit. Cause I, y'all, I do not. I just, I'm not complaining. Cause I'm introverted, and it's not like I want to go out and do stuff. 
but I just feel like I don't and I don't want to use the word party because I ain't trying to party turn up let loose get loose not get loose but y'all know what I mean like enjoy myself the most enjoyment I get is my massages and going out to eat but I don't really get a lot of socialization with adults and then like you know I am a social drinker because I don't really drink but I do like social drinking because it is fun and I just don't get to do none of that stuff a lot so when I do I be like yes turn up I hope he brings wings because I don't know why my body why am I out here at five o'clock y'all hear this it's too much it's two people on the side of the road an alarm going off I knew better I hope he brings wings because I've been wanting I'm looking all over like, is that a crack in my windshield? Girl, please just drive. Is this a crack in my windshield for real? Is it just dirty? I want wings to the next thing that I was doing today. So I came back from the gym. Um, I was in my emails a lot because I'm working on this uh, brand deal. And we had to get all this stuff together. And I couldn't get into the platform. And I need It was a lot. So I was doing that. Oh, and then I put my virtual training 40% off for this month that was as you may I did all that and then sent those emails out and all of that and then I had a call with um Trova Trip who've been trying to get at me since September and I didn't believe them and then I seen Amazon Tay have host her little trip and then Chelsea's hosting her trip and so I was like okay and then I asked her about it so I finally did that call with them so if y'all want to go on a trip this is how this works so they tell me hey give your like I have a link to a profile if we have a trip and it's successful I can do this all the time not all the time but I can have multiple trips right but they was like hey drop this link for your crew to turn up with you see what they what, what they trying to do where they trying to go what they want to do and if we have enough interest like in the survey y'all feel like the survey if you interested in going on a trip with me which I don't know why you wouldn't cause girl y'all know first of all I just don't see why nobody wouldn't want to hang out with me <laughs> if, if I'm not too much for you because I, I do understand I could be a lot but I'm really nice I promise and I'm also I, I think I'm a good time anyway they was like yeah see what locations your audience will be interested in and like their budget and then based on the information we get if we get enough um, interest we'll plan trips out for you for you, you to choose and then like after that if you have enough interest have a trip and y'all can sign up for the trip and it could be lit and turn and I just I I was real skeptical about this when they first reached out like I said because I was like first of all I didn't know y'all not having imposter syndrome I was like why y'all want to do why me I hadn't seen nobody do this before then I seen Glamazon Tay do it and even then I was like okay Glamazon Tay has a way larger audience than me it would make sense but then other people Chelsea started doing it and I was like okay and then a few other people started doing it, and I was like oh, okay it's not if I just thought it wasn't that I thought it was a scam and even when I seen Glamazon Tay do it I was just like well why why me because y'all know my imposter syndrome but it's like a lot of people doing it actually so hopefully I'll get to be one of those people and we would have trips together and that would be very cool because half the time half the reason I don't go nowhere is cuz and when I say go nowhere I was gonna say I mean travel, but no, in general, I don't have nobody to go with. I have nobody to like travel with. Y'all want me to bring up that time when I had to go to Mexico by myself because I was over here entertaining me and they could not do nothing. Hmm. Anyway, God, I'm about to have road rage because what the flick? Oh, I don't need to be outside no 5:30. You know we go to the gym in the morning and then we don't be bothered with these people because they don't drive well. Anyway. Yeah, half the time I don't be doing nothing, y'all, because I don't nobody to do it with. And we went through the whole, you just do it yourself. But it's only so much I'm going to feel comfortable doing myself. Like, my mama almost had a heart attack because I went to Mexico by myself. I felt safe because I was, like, on a little resort and I didn't leave it. But she didn't like it. And I do know that sex trafficking is a thing and all of that. I'll go out to eat by myself. I pretty much do the day to day by my I go to the movies. But you know, it's not like again. I just told y'all I don't feel like I have a lot of opportunities to like socialize and hang out with adults and like really have a good time, and that sucks. But hopefully, it won't always be like that. And I'm trying to just be in a state of gratitude and not talk about 
what I don't have and what's missing and just focus on what is well in my life. So, let me go ahead. I'm about to pull up in this um this nail place. Get this they get frozen daiquiri. They got they got strawberry and they got margarita. Get it flowing. Y'all, so many good things happened to me at the nail salon here. My nails, I did this highlighter, like green. I don't feel like the camera is doing, y'all know the camera situation. Uh-uh. Because it's coming up like a pale yellow, and this is like highlighter color. Anyway, I did this only because it's supposed to be spring, and I said to myself after I looked at my hands, just like I did the blue, and I told y'all I don't really like full color on my nail. I'm going back to my neutral and my white tips after this. Anyway, so what happened? It was a lot of things that happened. Um, first of all, on the way there, y'all, I spoke to y'all about what did I not mention a head spa. So the owner of the salon that I go to, and I'm going to have their Instagram on the screen. The owner name is Ma. She's always so sweet and nice to me. If you guys go there. Ask for my and tell her that the girl from YouTube sent you. She'll know who you're talking about. Anyway, they always treat me so nice. So I got my drink. Every time I get a drink, they have a frozen, I think I told y'all, daiquiri um, like selection. And you can do lime or margarita. And then they ask you if you want tequila or rum in it. And I got the rum and I be feeling so good. But anyway, I talked to y'all about the head spa. My came up to me while I was there and was like, look what I'm about to open up. And then she showed me like she had it open for 10 seconds before I was screaming. And I'm like, oh, my God, I literally was just talking about how bad I want to go to a head spa. And the only one that's open that's like in the perimeter of Atlanta is booked all the way out. And I said, when are you opening it? And she was like, within the next five months, I already got the space. Look at the Lord. Because I told her, I said, listen, I am there first day, baby. I'm there. I am there and let me know when you getting ready to open it like a week or two before and I tell everybody I know and tell them to pull up like come on let's do it because I, I I want a head spot and then I told y'all I don't really care about the process of getting my nails done because it's just not as relaxing why did my start massaging my neck and like my, my arms and I was like oh my god please don't stop I didn't say that but I was like I was off that room she started massaging me I was like yes lord then I spent last time I got my nails done, including with tip. I don't know why, because y'all know it wasn't nothing. I spent $95. So I was like, okay, I know I'm about to spend upwards of $100. Why was my nails $55 and I had enough points to get $15 off? Drops the mic, Lord. What's up? Am my guys favorite today? Like, what's up? It was great. And this brings me to a TikTok I'm going to share with y'all because I found this today. And when I seen it, y'all, first of all, it was for me. Second of all, when I got to the TikTok, the comments was on 111. Y'all already know I screenshotted it because I was like, wow, I know it wasn't going to stay there. But I just happened to get it when the comments was 111. And now I want to share this TikTok with y'all. God is going to do exactly what you expect him to do if you stop changing your expectation. The Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. It doesn't mean a lost hope. It means a hope that's delayed. It makes me feel like it's not going to happen. And if I allow my waiting season and the season of it not happening to make me change what I'm believing God to do, then my faith is no longer connected to the fact that God was going to produce. And now what you were believing God for has nothing to work with. You do understand that your faith is the fuel that powers what God is doing in your life. So faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not yet seen, which means when you change your hope, you change your faith. So God is like, I've been working on it. I've been setting everything up for your success. I'm working everything in your favor, but you keep on switching up. James says a double-minded man is unstable in all of their ways. I mean, you're pulled to the left and to the right. On Monday, I'm believing God for a miracle. On Tuesday, everything is terrible. On Wednesday, things get wacky. On Thursday, what are you going to be in this season? Are you going to be in or are you going to be out? Jesus said, if you're not for me, you're against me. He said, I'd rather you be hot or cold, but you just want to be lukewarm. You want to be one way one, one day, another way another day. God says, I need you to stabilize your hope in this season. God is going to do exactly what you expect him to do. But your challenge is to stop changing your expectation simply because of your situation. 
Jesus told the disciples when he was sending them into regions to do a work, he said, listen, I'm sending you into a place that's chaotic and crazy. I don't want you to become the place that I'm sending you into. I need you to make the place into you. I've got to say that better. You think every situation and circumstance that you go through is your sign to change your faith. No, your faith is what shifts every situation and circumstance that you find yourself in. So in this season, if there's one thing you've got to do is maintain your hope. I don't care if you haven't seen it yet. I don't care if it hasn't manifested yet. You've got to still believe God in the month of April. If God says to you, I'm doing it, it's working in your favor, and all I require from you is faith, are you going to miss out on your moment? Are you, dis are you going to disconnect from your destiny simply because you wouldn't just believe God? I'm reminded of the Israelites who got literally on the tipping point of their transition into the promised land. They were right there about to cross over and they missed it. All they had to do was keep believing God and they missed it. He delivered them from Egypt and all they had to do was believe God and they missed it. I don't want you to get so close to what God has for you. I don't want you to be able to see it, touch it, taste it, feel it. I don't want you to be that close and miss it. Was that not nice? Did y'all not like that? Did that not resonate with some people? I did not do much of anything today and I'm going to continue not to. It looks like I'm about to clean up and just have like a quiet night in this whole weekend finna be chill because i told y'all i'm definitely doing self-care tomorrow i have a facial plan a massage plan and i'm getting sushi with dana this is like a self-care weekend for sure Don't pour it like now. Nah, now, nah, what this? Go ahead. You do you drink it like this at home? I do. But you want to taste this? Nah, I'm. Don't try to play me now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? It ain't no apples. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know how to play. These are, no, these are examples. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, truth, truth. So you gotta hit the truth button. Cause you get the, so I get the pick truth to there. So I said truth, so hit truth. If I were handcuffed to the bed, what would you do to me? What? That would have been. You probably took me to death or some shit. I'm gonna put that pillow in my pants. Oh my god. You know, I'm gonna be silly. I'm gonna put that pillow in my pants and be like, you know, this can be the 600 pound life thing. Okay. You like that answer? You don't like that answer? I'll be silly every time. I'm sorry. If you could take away one bad thing in the world, what would it be? Poverty. Yeah, that's cute. I'm gonna pick your truth. <laughs> I think he switches decks. Hold on. Let me I just wanna know how to play. Who was turn was it? It was mine. No, I switched the decks. So I can't be reading these and be vlogging. No. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay, are you okay with raising animals just to kill them for me? Heck. Yeah, bust this meat little piece of open. Yes. Y'all already know. Yeah. I'm, okay, it's your turn. Look, y'all never have my mama calling my phone. Okay, the truth is there. Okay, we're trying to turn it up. All right, remember that. Lick the right feet of the person to your right. Am I to your left or to your right? Am I to your left? Let's check your carnival. Drink. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta drink a shot worth. A shot worth. So not no silk. Yeah, you wanna play? Let's go. 
How many, oh, this is not bad. How many people in your life did you friend zone? Not, well, I don't need to know that. How many people in your life did you friend zone? I picked true. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I tried. How you ever? Oh, wait, if I don't, you know I've been cheating. If I don't want to answer it, I could just drink. I forgot. Okay. So, say it out loud so they can hear you. Where is your favorite place to be kissed? On my neck. Truth or dare? True. You so scary. What is your biggest fear in a relationship? To give it all I got and be a fool and then I'll be getting cheated on. <laughs> and if I weigh 600 pounds, I can't go nowhere to cheat. See? See the pros? What's the most embarrassing nickname you ever had? The most embarrassing nickname you ever had? My daddy called me Booby and I fucking hate it. And I hate it. How you get the nickname Booby? Cause my mama was like, my daddy kept calling me baby, like, oh my baby, my baby, my baby. And my mama like, you call her baby one more time. She's like, okay, booby. I know I'm not. I hate it. Yeah, it was good. Okay, whose turn is it? It's your turn. Truth or dare? Who sold it? <laughs> do you want to do that, or are you gonna tell me about your most hilarious sex grouper, or take a damn shot? Oh my god. I'm gonna go with there. Big snow. Big snow! Yes, it's green. So it can't be that bad. Talk like man for the next I don't know who that is. From, from, uh, Batman. I don't know who that is. Up there. Get another one. Find something sweet to swipe across your lips. And <laughs> hey. I should go get some hot honey out the cab. It is sweet. This is good. No, I'm about to turn this camera off. I don't have. I got regular. When the last time y'all played Truth or Dare? Don't play it. What is that? It's so I'm really happy about my progress. It's honey. Because this is my only chance to get the help I need to say. This actually could be some lip gloss. It's not. It's not bad. Get it off. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Depict a human life through interpretive dance. So look, you could do SpongeBob like y'all remember when them jellyfish came over? <laughs> do you remember that episode? There. I'm not licking your feet. You got me messed up. <laughs> Dare. Oh wait, yeah, yo, no, truth to dare, sorry. So, how you do it? I already did mine. That was mine, I said I want to look at Truth to dare. Mm. Mm. Have you ever paid for sex? He lying. Technically, yeah. Okay, and now you don't know, embarrass me on YouTube, I'm about to go. Okay, you gotta take the girl out. You gotta take him out. You gotta pay for the food. So that's your, that's, you, that's not just paying for that company. I guess you say that's so nah, Uh-uh, okay. nah, you already said what you done said. Now you want to read it. And the hotel room and stuff like Why that. you getting the hotel room? That might be out of town. Take mm -hmm. the girl on the trip. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and send it home today. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, y'all. I had my glasses on. I was like, what's wrong with my camera? Did it go out on me? Because y'all know when I wear these keys, I cannot see nothing. Like, the camera is completely pitch black. But anyway, I'm trying to get to my um facial and massage on time, Lord, because, uh, yeah, I'm going to be, it looks like I'm going to be about 10 minutes late. And it don't make no sense because I'm 15 minutes away and it's not even 2.30. But traffic is, like, insane for whatever reason. And I don't know why. And of course, I dilly dallied and did stuff I didn't have no business um, this morning. So I'm checking in with y'all. 
I had a, um so much fun yesterday. I told y'all I was going, you know, let loose and do play my little a uh, card game, and I had to cut the camera off because baby, it was it was yeah. I ended up eating pizza, but that's because by the time my company got over there, it was like so late, and we was like we both was like, oh, we're not hungry and we're not gonna eat. Yeah, okay. And then it was, after we started drinking, it was like dang, and it was like eleven o'clock, so it was like okay, well let's order this pizza. But I had a good time like this. I really like when I have weekends that's like really chill and I act, I feel like I spend my weekend like a regular person would because y'all a lot of times on the weekends um, I don't do much or I do stuff just to vlog like to have vlog footage so I'm working but like yesterday I was chilling today even though I'm vlogging I feel like I'm still pretty much chilling because I'm going to get some self-care like I'm going to get a massage I'm going to get a facial and then I'm going to get sushi later with Dana and I'm going to my favorite sushi spot and I'm super excited because y'all know it don't take much to make me happy first of all food makes me very happy and then food like sushi like one of my favorites I'm just in a good mood like I feel like I'm having the weekend of a regular person that's enjoying life because I'm actually doing stuff. I really hope that I'm not late to this appointment and I'm still trying to look. I keep looking at my phone like, why would it take me this long? And then I know it's because you putting me on the expressway. But then why are we doing This is a lot. Like there was no other way. I don't understand as I'm still following it because I don't have like no other choice. I thought I would just take the streetway, but this is the way that the GPS is telling me is the quickest. No, actually, this 43 minutes is the quickest. Oh, that, that, girl, that saved you one minute. Stop playing. Oh, well, what can I do? I shouldn't have been over here running my mouth trying to, well, I'm not trying to do nothing. Y'all know you just get, first of all, I shouldn't. I knew what I was doing this weekend. I knew I was gonna be drinking and I knew I was gonna be moving slow the next day. I knew that. Why I scared, but that's why I got to say why you scheduled this appointment. I scheduled it at three, doggone it. I thought like, you know, by three o'clock. Well, I did get moving at one, but it don't matter. Girl, it does not matter. I just was coming in and checking in with y'all. I don't have a lot to say right now. I have nothing to say. I'm just, it's a great day. It's nice outside. The air is blowing cold. <laughs> it's a good day. When you get um a regular, like if I just got the basic facial, right? Mm -hmm. Would you use the little suction machine on me? Uh, like a basic facial for the diamond glow? No, like whatever I booked with nothing added, just you know my. I think you know my little since I have the membership. Right, 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 right. Um. I would, I would go over what you said, but I would still like kind of go over with you what would be best. So it's kind of up to you what you would want to do. Oh, I'm only asking because um the last time I got a facial, mm -hmm. it so I got one this year, but before that it had been a year, and I was going to a girl um named Maddie at the Hand and Stone in. Okay, I know her. Oh, so she's right. gone, and I was sad. Right, right, right. And it was another woman, and she didn't do anything but rub me, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to get a suction. Right. But I couldn't remember, so that's why I'm asking. Okay, yeah, we usually look into the chart. Well, you should. If you requested it, you what do you mean suction? It was just a little machine that she went and it sucked. It didn't, it wasn't a microderm though. I don't think I paid extra for it, but I couldn't remember. So that's why I was asking if I booked just the regular facial. Oh, mm, no, not always. Okay. Uh, it, it might be a thing that she just did on her own. Cause what, what I'm thinking of when you say suction, I'm thinking of lymphatic drainage. Uh, it, like was, it was um, like a little tool. It was just a machine and it had water and it sucked. It can be a physical or a chemical exfoliant. It really just bases off of um, how your skin, your skin type at the moment. Because um, if you don't want to do anything like with any granules or in it, you can use a glycolic acid. Um, a lot of those skin resurfacing pads have a glycolic or a salicylic acid in there, which um, it's still really good for turning over the skin, kind of give you that nice exfoliation. So that's like the Dennis Gross pads. Um, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, there's some little Dr. Dennis Gross pads. Pads. Okay, okay. 
But yeah, I didn't think it was an actual exfoliate because I couldn't feel it. Oh yeah, no, not always. It does not have to have any physical properties in it to be an exfoliant. But then you have your AHAs, which are gonna be more of the glycolic, um, lactic, stuff like that. And then the BHAs, which is more hyaluronic and stuff like that, which is more soothing to the skin. Should you not use both? You can use both, mm-hmm. Like, like because, at the same because time? One, because one is resurfacing. Okay. One is gonna resurface the skin. It's gonna help with that cell turnover you know, um, help exfoliate dull, dry skin, um, just kind of really resurfacing the skin. The other one is going to be more of like your vitamin C, your hyaluronic acid, your more hydrating um, acids. Okay, y'all, I got my facial. What you think? I got my massage. Now I have to run. So listen, y'all gonna be like, why you gotta run? Um, somehow I was filming the what y'all just saw like on my phone because somehow the damn Sony be tripping on me. I don't know what Sony be doing, but like it be coming on, like in my person turning on. So it turned on and like the battery's low again. But anyway, I'm about to meet Dana. Um, we were supposed to meet at 6 30 and it's 5 52, but I got finished early and I was like, hey girl, like if you already up here, whoop the whoop, we can go ahead. But the fat girl let me prevail, y'all. So after my facial, I had like 15 minutes for my massage. Before I left the house this morning, I was like, let me eat this slice of pizza and I have a protein shake because I don't want to eat out until it's time for sushi. I should I should be okay. I wasn't okay and I was like, I'm hungry. So because I had 15 minutes and I just wanted to run and get something, I went to Arby's. I know of all things. I had a fry and they had a buffalo like chicken wrap and I only ate half of it. So even though I want to be like, oh, my fat girl prevailed today, did she? Because I had half of a wrap and a fry and a slice of pizza this morning and a protein shake. And that's it. And now I'm finna have my dinner. When we leave sushi, we got to go get a laxative. And I don't need to tell you why, because apparently, what you think I'm getting laxative for? I'm back home. I went and got some. Dana told me to get this. Okay, look, I've never in my life had no prune juice. I was like, what? I didn't even know what a prune was. I was like, what is a prune? And while we was eating sushi, we looked it up and it is a dried plum. So I was like, well, prune juice should be good to me because I like plums. I need to do what I need to do. I'm, I'm willing to try anything at this point because I don't know why I'm suffering. Y'all, I know that I drink Olipop and I knew that Olipop was a prebiotic fiber and all that stuff. I did not know Olipop had nine grams of fiber. Remember I was telling y'all, okay, I just need to get more fiber in my diet. I'm gonna eat more vegetables. Y'all, the recommended amount of fiber is 25 grams. And y'all know I've been tracking recently. The other day I was eating like 36 grams of fiber. So I don't, I don't know what it is, okay? Let me taste this prune juice. She said it's like grape juice. If this shit nasty, I'm gonna be mad. It ain't gonna matter. I need to drink it anyway, but. Y'all, 
So when she said it was thicker, I definitely, it kind of reminded me of like, if y'all ever had mango, what's it called? Mango puree or like nectar, like it's that consistency, but it's not, it's good. It ain't good like that at all, but it's not nasty. I can definitely drink it. It's, it's, it's far from nasty. So I'm about to drink some of that. I'm making a hookah. I am chilling. I could not wait to get in the house and chill. Like, yes. I just had a really good Saturday. I had sushi. I got a facial. I got a massage. I had me some socialization time. I got a new hookah flavor I want to try. This blueberry mist. It don't smell like I'm gonna like it, but it's supposed to be one of the top eight flavors, like the Starbucks. Okay, it's actually not bad. Who y'all know drink prune juice and smoking hookah at the same time? I won't believe this shit or lack thereof good afternoon y'all before I get into what's going on today y'all see me get up and take a walk it's Sunday it's typically I typically do cardio on Saturday and then Sunday I don't do anything besides moving around the house it's my active rest because I do some cleaning but I didn't go to the gym yesterday or any cardio because I don't necessarily have to go to the gym to do cardio I could go downstairs and get on the treadmill or I could walk but I didn't so I was like well let me take a walk today because guess what I'm trying to get things moving because do y'all believe after I drunk the prune juice after I took the laxative nothing I know this is a lot but I y'all I went to the bathroom and it was is I don't want to give details because it's, it's, it's not it's I'm not going okay nothing's moving no shit l l look it's a bunch of shit or lack thereof like I said right so I was thinking because I'm like this is so I'm just a regular person like I really am regular what the hell what's been going on what has changed nothing if anything i've been i told y'all i tracked my fiber one day and i, I i'm i'm doing well did y'all know that allergy medicine can cause constipation did you know remember on the pack of the medicine when i told y'all they say don't exceed 10 milligrams which is the one pill is they're taking sometimes i did double up because i'm so miserable so now I'm basically at the point like, okay, well, do I have to choose between regulation and suffering? But you know what? I'm still suffering. Do y'all hear my voice? I know I have a raspy voice. I, I can tell it's raspier than usual because it doesn't feel good to talk. It itches. I'm trying to take like the back of my tongue and itch myself. I had to go get 
a Sprite Zero last night just for the carbonation because I had a Sprite when we had sushi and it felt so soothing to my throat, but I didn't want to, you know, keep drinking the sugar. So I got a Sprite Zero just so I could have like some carbonation on my throat. And back to the sugar. I'm drinking all this prune juice, which is natural prune juice, but it's 180 calories per serving. Y'all done drunk half the bottle. I'm like, I cannot do this in nothing. So when I took the, took the laxative last night, it said take between one to three pills, you know, at a time. And I took one because I'm like, all right, you already taking the juice. Tonight I'm taking three. And I swear to God, I swear to God, swear to God, something. I also bought another kombucha. One of y'all recommended the Synergy. I got the ginger egg because I told y'all I, I like ginger. Um, this might, I'll be trying to test and see if my focus be working. Um, I've had this brand before now that I've seen it. And I don't think I liked it. I think it was the mango one. But then y'all did say the other one had more sugar, I guess, to taste better. This one has 12 grams. I don't know how much health aid had. This is pretty good. I really like ginger, y'all. Which I said is weird to me because... I don't eat the ginger at the sushi place. I never have. But give me a drink with some ginger in it. Like, I love it. So that's pretty good. Does it have fiber in it? No. <laughs> Why is this supposed to be good? Oh, the, the probiotics. I guess y'all, I need to look up why kombucha is good. Oh, it's supposed to be good. What is y'all got going on? Okay. It's supposed to be good for your, um, your gut. My gut need, don't my gut need assistance? Because I think it do. Okay, so anywho, y'all, y'all are in for a treat. Because my dad called me yesterday when I was scrounging, trying to get to my facial appointment. He was like, do you want to do dinner tomorrow? Because your niece is in town. And when we tried to have our long corn dinner that we didn't have last week, my niece was supposed to be there because it was supposed to be our Easter dinner, but she wasn't there. So anyway, he was like, well, she's here this week. You want to do dinner? I'm going to cook um, red beans and rice and some fried chicken. Okay, who's going to turn that down? Because no, I'm not going to turn it down. And I was supposed to bring cornbread muffins, but um, I swear I actually went to Publix for it and they only had a four pack and I needed to get two four packs to make it eight because it's I think it's six of us and they only had one four pack so I was like well I guess we don't need the cornbread and we don't because the red beans and well I emphasize beans my bad the red beans and rice you know there's enough carbs there I don't need to eat nothing that's carby you know what else I said I said now dare I say this because I know it's something that I love and I eat a lot of it too I'm finna cut back on the cheese for a minute, just a little minute. Because I was like, did you eat too much cheese? But I don't feel like I ate any more cheese than I would any other time. And I really feel like it was all of that allergy medicine. Because I've, I've never taken allergy medicine as consistently as I have. Like I told y'all, usually when allergy season is among us, I'll take allergy pet medicine for like two weeks and then I'll be good. Like, I don't know, I'm just good. Uh-uh. I've been taking allergy pills for like a month and still suffering. Still had a runny nose in the middle of the night. I don't know what it is. Still like my throat just... My eyes have kind of calmed down with the itching, but my throat is itchy. And my nose be running. And I'm about to stop taking it because I need to, I need to go to the bathroom. I feel like poop. <laughs> like, the, like the substance that... I, you know why you feel like it? Because you're full of it. <laughs> like, I just don't... I don't feel sick or nothing, but I just don't feel great. And I feel heavy. I feel bloated. All of that, which I guess you would because you've been eating, but you ain't been releasing. So, yeah, I feel some, I also feel some type of way about driving to McDonald's today, but I'm not going to complain because I do want to see my niece. I like spending time with them. We have a good time. We laugh. We joke. Um, and I do want to eat good. I do because it's Sunday. I don't really get to eat good Sunday meals often because I do by myself and I just eat like what I regularly would eat but Farmer Bay put gas in my car yesterday and like now I'm about to I'm looking at my gas hand like 
by the time you drive to McDonough and drive back, it's going to be exactly where it was yesterday. And I'm sad about it because I was looking forward to driving on this free gas. <laughs> this free gas. I was looking forward to driving on this this week and knowing that I didn't have to gas my car. It just felt amazing because gas is one of the things. I think I already talked about this or did I tell him that? I don't want to buy no gas. And before y'all say so, I didn't tell him I didn't want to buy gas like so he could pay for my gas. This was after the fact. We was like, I want to put gas in your car. And I was like, thank you. I appreciate it because I hate paying for gas. Among other things, gas is one of those things like, honestly, y'all, I don't like to pay for nothing besides food and uh, fun activities or things that I want. So if we go get anything, it could be like skincare, some clothes, some shoes, anything. I think just like everybody else, I don't want to pay for the necessities. I don't think none of us like paying for the necessities except for groceries, baby. I can do that because that's food. But I don't want to pay no bills, no rent, no electricity bills, none of that stuff. And I don't want to pay for gas. Everything else, I think I'm good. Yeah, but a girl again that's like mo yeah that's most people nobody wants to pay for the things they need they might not want to pay for groceries my mom don't really like paying for groceries because she said oh we just spending money on food and then they end up in the toilet can't relate like it does but i really like it. whether it's groceries or eating out the food end up in the same place and i like i like the experience of eating out but still like when it comes to food like i like especially snacks good food okay so listen hold on i'm thirsty <laughs> If I went to the grocery store and bought specifically just the items that I want, not need, want, I would love it. Because I would buy a whole bunch of junk food like frozen pizzas, all the trash processed foods. Yes. Because I know I'm going to love the experience of eating it. Now, y'all, this doggone lens had like a vinjet. What's that word? Vinjet, vinjet around it. Because the, I don't care. It doesn't matter. You know what? I really, I'm just gonna stop talking. Cause it, it, it really kind of hurts my throat and like bothers me to talk. Plus I'm not talking about anything. So I'll just see y'all at my dad's. I, I tried to vlog. I tried, I tried to do good. Got distracted with the lens. I'm, I feel like poop. I, just give me grace, please. Y'all, I stopped at the store for, for this kombucha, right? Look at this. Yeah, I drink kombucha every day since my stomach's been fucked up. And it's the same. Daddy, why do you get this brand in particular? Because that's the best I've saying. You got one better than that. No, they actually, somebody on YouTube recommended this because I had the health aid. Surgery, yeah, yeah. And they said to get that one. And got another one in there. Oh. Uh, it tastes like soda pop compared to that. You can taste the fermentation in that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got the apple. Here you go. Can I have it? No. God damn You need one now? No. No, we just got them. We just got them. They'll be gone in four or five days. That's some BS. I'm going to show you something. Little munchies. Then I want you to get two eggs. Let me go downstairs and mess with Donald. Oh, I was supposed to put this in the fridge. Or the fridge and keep it cold. Hi, Shy. Hi. How are you doing? Don't act like that. I, don't, I hate this dog on gate. Let me bust my head. Trying to get over this gate. Where your daddy at? Now you just couldn't wait for me to jump over so you can knock me down. Come on. Damn, big ass horse. <laughs> Shy, please don't beat me up. Oh, I don't want to fall. Don, why your dog run loose? Huh? Why he come up to the steps without you? Is this paraphernalia? I'll report your film boy thing. <laughs> do you be do you be disclosing? Disclosing. Why are you damn it, Shot? Why are you so tall? I'm trying to rub you. But this matter you can fry chicken or pork chop. Um, so wait, am I putting this salt in there? No, I put salt in there already. So put this in there. Put, yeah, taste that and see how you like that and see how much you gonna put in there. Damn them whole wings. Them not weighed at all. Yeah, I thought you cooking chicken, chicken. How many pieces you got in there? Four or five. Huh? Four or five. 
See, with Dale, the flour, the way I like to use flour, it tastes sandwich. better already. Yeah, you didn't put, okay, go ahead. You should have put the flour on there the first time, all up. Okay, Naomi, baby, I'm just, baby, guess what? I learned from my grandma. I'm not doing things the way oh, she did. Got salt in you. you see what I'm saying? Yes. It ain't, I'm just doing it my way. As long as it come out good, doesn't matter how it was did. And you know, dog, ooh, dog booby. That dog. is not that much. I, oh, you, okay, I'm, I can't see good. Go ahead, let me get the hell out of booby business. Booby, like she's shaking her head. It ain't even coming out. I, it is coming out. Daddy, look at all of this. Now it ain't coming out. That don't but do you see what I mean? Like, it ain't like you think it's old because it's, it's no, old. Okay, no. Yeah, you acting like, look at this, it ain't that much. It ain't old, shit. Now, you just okay. lumped up a little bit. All right. That's not, go ahead, keep going. Keep going. Give me the next piece. Right. Put your next piece along the wall. <laughs> you coming out. You coming no, in. That's hot in the middle. Put another piece over here. Y'all better than me because I don't like cooking no big old chicken legs. That, okay, keep going. I thought you had more in there than that. Okay. Did y'all know this was wine? Have y'all ever seen this before? I thought it was just grape juice. It says Concord grape, but then it say alcohol 11%. This is wild. My daddy said this is my grandmother wine, which means, daddy, how long has it been in here? For years. Yeah. And it's okay? Yeah. Yeah, my grandmother has been passed since 2020. D damn, yes, this is old as hell. Daddy, why do you still have this? Booty covered my mama wine, ain't nothing wrong with it. You gonna keep it forever? And it, yeah, to somebody drink it. Somebody drink that sweet shit for her. It is really sweet. <coughs> it tastes like grape juice. Literally. Right, that, but wait, but wait, wait. See, in the Bible, it was wine. It was I mean, juice. it do say 11% alcohol. Right, but it still tastes like grape juice, don't it? With a little bit of strong, that must be BB. Oh, yeah. This the same camera you had the other day? Yeah, why? Oh, cause I thought you said something was wrong with it. No, it just I left it on. It's oh, y'all drinking from my wine, ain't you? Daddy, you I'm letting this underage child drink wine? I'm not underage. You, look, the cameras do. Do this look like an underage child, y'all? Yeah, what it look like? I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, do y'all see? Wait, stand next to me. You sure? I know every time you go somewhere, they definitely card you. Not okay. Really? That's just trifling. It yeah, tastes I'm like the only straight person in the world. I like it though. Y'all gonna drink it? Mm, I don't want it. I like it. Okay, you ain't gonna drink grandma and mama wine. You wanna shop, you want no more booze? Put it back in that book. Daddy, this shit old as hell. Booby! Like five years. Booby, wine can be a hundred years. Wait, wine can be a thousand years old and saying. it's still good. Let me see what y'all got some. Like if they found wine in one of the mummy tombs or something and they drink that shit. They gonna be cursed. Cursed! Yeah, they might get that. <laughs> Daddy, who's Shabani? Y'all got so much. Freaking food. It, it won't be here long. That's my yoga booby. Put booby. It won't be here long with your brother. And BB <laughs> just went. Everybody just bought groceries. We bought groceries. BB bought groceries. And Naomi didn't buy groceries. Oh, since no. she's been here. This, uh, uh, I'm this gonna, a functioning family house. I'm about to come stay with y'all. I ain't got no food. Lord. Wait, 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 wait. Ain't hey, Naomi. We ain't had none two days ago. <laughs> I don't believe y'all. Wait a minute. Give us the Wednesday or Thursday. That shit gone. Y'all, what y'all be eating? Y'all be cooking? You don't mean beef. No, no. Whatever in that refrigerator is going to be gone. Monday. When you leaving? To, to, yeah, tomorrow. Wait, yeah, tomorrow Monday. Mm -hmm. And when are you coming uh, back? Naomi, mm -hmm. look in the answer. If that's a nice cigar, bring it here. But if, no, in that bedroom. Uh. But if it ain't, bring me a new cigar. You move my stuff. You trying to move out like the next one. You bring my stuff. You moving here? No, I'm leaving. You going where? 
She going home. I thought this was her home. No. This ain't never been her home. Since when? Since it's been my home. I live here. So, where? That, so this not Naomi home? No, no. Where is my home? So this not Naomi no, home? No, no. Where is my home? Yeah, whatever. In the back. No, 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 no. She won't fit. Where my home? Naomi, you moving to Chicago? Can't wait. Tell her where my where? home is. Like you, you got damn right. That home. He, I just he, live here. You gonna get buried in the backyard. Moving up. Look, look. Wait, wait, wait. And hey, Naomi, when they first got here, I said, don't y'all bury me in no red dirt. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. We were all drinking. Booby was old enough to drink. And I said, chicken. I, I'm watching it. So y'all know how I be doing my bad girls thing, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm finna just film an episode of Bad Girls Club for y'all real quick. So let me turn my camera so I'm finna walk over here. So I'm finna talk, cause you got my niece fucked up. Look, look. <laughs> so, so I heard them. Why is you barking? Shush. So I heard, <laughs> so I heard BB stand for bad bitch. And it does, he heard. But how long would I bad bitch? Wait, say that ain't something they would do. I don't understand, look, then they cut to the confessional. I don't understand why he grown with her concept bad bitch when I'm the bad bitch, so I had to say something. Look, you see her, she always <laughs> running around. <laughs> anyway, your hair looks nice. Thank you, thank you. What time did you cook? Y'all, the way I'm sitting here like down in water, I am so uncomfortable and my stomach is so big, y'all. Uh-uh, it's big, like, and I'm not even full like that. Do y'all see this? Oh my God, why you turn dark on me when I need you? Oh, this is, wow. Y'all, I promise y'all I'm not full, like I could eat. I couldn't, I'm really not hungry at all cause I'm so, but do y'all see this stomach? What? <sighs> ah, that is so gross. Oh my God, y'all, I, I don't feel bad, but I feel bad. Like, cause y'all see that, like I'm really bloated. Um, to the point, y'all know I do not like my ankles to be off. To the point where, um, I don't even think I wanna go to the gym tomorrow. Excuse me, see, y'all, don't y'all know how, like, I can't eat, oh, my God. Ugh. Don't y'all know how, like, I can't eat, um, well, you might not know. I can't eat, my stepmom was telling me to eat some fruit. She's like, you need to eat some fruit. And I was like, well, you know, like, fresh apples and stuff, because she was like, apples, pears, plums. I was like, you know those fruits fresh, um, it makes my mouth inflamed and, like, itchy, and they have to be cooked or, like, processed. Why well, my stepmama gave me some cooked fruit? It looks so gross when she pulled it out. I was like, ew. But it tastes like the fruit in the little cups of the stove. So these are apples and pears. They so they look so gross when she pulled it out. I was like, no ma'am. But it literally tastes just like the fruit in the little cups. Mmm. It's kind of good, huh? Mm. But y'all be honest, the way I feel, I only want to rely on that. I only think that's gonna help because that the um the prune juice didn't help. Like, what is going on? Mm. Mm. So I just been trying to drink like kombucha and water. My daddy wouldn't let me have that honey crisp synergy and I want it. So now I have to look at that flavor. I'm about to take three of these pills, don't play with me. So I took one yesterday trying to be cute. I forgot that I didn't even show y'all the chicken and the red beans and rice, but it was chicken and red beans and rice. It was good. Um, I had a good time. I always have a good time with my dad because I just be chilling and I'll be doing nothing. I think that I like, like when I be going to Tennessee or like being with my family or like being with other people in general, 
that is my break because y'all know like even like now i'm basically like literally kind of i'm basically working like i'm vlogging and so like when i'm by myself i be thinking of things to vlog because i mean i have to have content i have to have something to vlog but like when i be with other people I literally just put my camera and you just get what you get and I'm not really thinking about it so I feel like I'm not really working so I'm resting so that's what I was saying like I feel like this whole weekend was a really good weekend for me and like a regular weekend like it would be for other people because I don't feel like I work this weekend hold on y'all that water with lime juice Gonna get you right every time. I need to shut up because my throat. <laughs> oh, yes, y'all. This be all I look forward to. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm about to turn on Black Birds. It's the show I've been watching on Apple TV. But anyway, I feel like I'm trying to turn my light, my little lamp. So I feel like this weekend, I literally had a weekend off because I didn't really like um think of content to do this weekend i was just chilling so i had like my little soft lunch party i guess soft lunch <laughs> y'all i posted a picture of my nails well y'all see my nails i posted a picture of my nails like on my story on instagram but i had i was like pushing farmer bay in the head I don't, I don't know but anyway you could see his head and my hands was over it and i was like oh i was just trying to show off my nails but I was being facetious because obviously, girl, you have to do all that to show your nails. You know, like when girls be trying to show their butt. And so, like, they'll be, oh, do y'all like my shirt today? Or, oh, just got my hair done, but butt be all in the picture. Yeah, so I was trying to be facetious and be like, oh, I just want to show y'all my nails. But, like, clearly his head was in the um the, the picture, the, the story. So that was, like, my little soft lunch, I guess. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I done got this bed. Um, yeah, I feel like I was just, I got, I had my little socialization time. I went and got a facial. I went and got a massage. I had sushi. I went to my dad's house and hung out with my brother and my niece and my nephew. And we ate and we just hung out. And I that's, I feel like I didn't do nothing. I feel like I had a normal person weekend of just like racks, racks and relaxing and chilling. And yeah, I love that. I love when I vlog and I'm just like out doing stuff. And the problem be that I don't, y'all know I don't be having nothing to do because I be in the house. And even if I like go out somewhere to vlog, it's not the same because I'm probably just going there just to have vlogging footage. Because I told y'all, y'all leave it up to me, baby. We ain't never got to leave this house. I don't have to go nowhere but to the gym and to the store. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to the gym tomorrow because I just, I'm too big. Just at the gym big. I can't even wear, no, what I look like putting on my sports bra and my leg is big like this. Okay, y'all. I'm not about to play with y'all. I'm about to go. I hope that y'all didn't. Let me know. If, if I ask y'all, was this born? Was this vlog born? Y'all gonna be like, no. But I don't even, girl, I don't even know what footage I got and didn't. But I feel like I had to get something because my memory card is a little low. I'm loud. Anyway, okay. Thank y'all for kicking it with me. I'm a holler.